Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Westfield, New Jersey. Today I wanted to tell you a few signs of disc problems in the back, especially the lower back. Discs, there's one disc under each, well not each, but mostly all of the vertebrae, the bones of the spine. And these discs can sometimes get pinched by the bone on top of it and the bone below it. And they can get swollen, irritated, and affect the nerves around them. And they're very painful. So what are the signs of disc problems? Well, one sign is if you say that sitting down for a long period of time, especially in a car, makes your back worse. This is one sign that it may be a disc problem. Another sign that it may be a disc problem is that your back hurts less when you first get up in the morning. After you've been laying down a long time, it feels better than when you have been up for a while and moving around and sitting down for long periods of time. So when you first get up in the morning, it feels better. Another sign of disc problems is it hurts when you roll over in bed. So you roll from one side to the other and it's, oh, you know, it's very difficult. Another sign of disc problems is it's hard to put your shoes and socks on in the morning. It's just torture to have to bend over and put your socks on and your shoes. It, you just really don't want to even do it. Now, remember with disc problems, you may have other problems at the same time. So that can interfere with any of these things that I'm telling you. The other thing is that the chiropractor is really the best doctor to see first for a disc problem. And the reason for that is because if you go to a chiropractor and this is a problem that he doesn't think he can help, he will be able to send you to the medical doctor. Whereas if you go to the medical doctor first, he's not going to know that much about the chiropractor and he won't be able to send you there if that's what you really need. So, if you have a disc problem, if you find that you or someone you know is having similar symptoms similar to these, you should go or send them to the chiropractor and hopefully they'll be able to help him. So I hope this information has been helpful to you, and I'll see you again at a later date. Thank you.